The question is whether F2 is ionic or covalent. The short answer is that it is covalent, also called molecular. In fact, it's nonpolar covalent. So as we look at the periodic table, right here is fluorine. That's a nonmetal. So you can consider we have two fluorine atoms. They're both nonmetals. They're the same element here. Nonmetal plus a nonmetal, that'll give us a covalent compound. So according to the periodic table, we have a covalent compound. We could also look at the difference in electronegativity between the two atoms to figure out whether we have an ionic or covalent compound. So fluorine has an electronegativity value of 4.0. So they're the same element, so each one 4.0, 4.0. If we look at the difference between them, 4.0 minus 4.0, that's zero. So there's no difference in electronegativity between the two fluorine atoms. That means that the electrons in this bond right here, the ones that are shared, they'll be shared equally. So that makes fluorine a covalent compound. We think about bonding as kind of a continuum. We have ionic on one side, and on the other side we have nonpolar covalent. And we're looking at the difference in electronegativity. So for nonpolar covalent, the difference in electronegativity is less than 0 0.5. Fluorine is less than 0 0.5. That's going to be nonpolar covalent. This is Dr. B answering the question whether F2 is ionic or covalent. It is nonpolar covalent. Thanks for watching.